Neuro is always fun. So, science mancy. Today's paper is Brain Borders at the Central Stage of Neuroimmunology. And notice, there's only two authors on this. Whenever you have just two authors and a paper in Nature, that means it's a really thick, well-done review paper and not an actual piece of new research. I like this paper because it starts off with rather poetic ideas about the patterns in nature. The immune and nervous systems display remarkable similarities for such diverse systems. And this speaks to how in nature patterns repeat themselves over and over again. Whether you're looking at the ecosystem level or the organismal level or the galactic level, you see similar patterns form around strange attractors, you might call them in chaos theory. And so you have the immune system and the nervous system, which are the most complex systems along with hormonal system. And this paper is talking about how for a long time there was something called immune privilege. And we thought that the central nervous system is pretty isolated from the immune system. And it turns out, actually, they're very, very tightly integrated and overlapping. It says, although they are tailored to enable different complex functions, both systems continuously survey the environment, relay cues, and adjust on demand to maintain homeostasis. Love this part. Indeed, akin to the multidisciplinary nature of modern science, these systems communicate. These guys, what we do, it's as complex as the immune system, the nervous system, this whole research thing, um, which is true. Research is only getting more multidisciplinary, which is funny that they're saying this in a uh, article of just two authors. So classical immunological communication occurs through cytokine secretion from one cell acting in a paracrine matter on another. So basically they interact through cytokines, the ones you hear about with COVID and stuff like that. Neurons do something similar. They communicate with their neurotransmitters in between the neurons. But we're learning neurons have receptors for those cytokines of the immune system. And the immune cells have re uh, receptors for neurotransmitters on them as well. They're cross-talking. In fact, they found out that some neurons can express IL-13, which is one of the classical cytokines of the immune system. And neurons can also adopt the communication strategy of the immune system, such as regulating major histocompatibility complexes, which is <clears throat> your histamines, your immune system, and it's what you're searching for in a mate. When you smell somebody and they smell attractive, it's because their immune system is different enough from yours that you're going to make healthy babies. That's what makes sexiness so sexy. Finally, some of the immune cells, like B cells, emit the neurotransmitter GABA, which I actually have an article about on Project CBD. It's the brain's basic inhibitory neurotransmitter and very important. So you can go read the rest of this paper online. It's uh, not that difficult and has a great bibliography and it looks at how much nature's patterns repeat and interact.